This is Richard and Mr. Quick. We're uh, based out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Today we're looking at power vent heaters. We did talk about atmospheric and the difference between the two, okay? An atmospheric heater, as I showed you in the past video, is a heater that has a metal flue, heats up, and it naturally vents out and has to have an upflow. Well, this is one step above that. This is a high efficiency, which is one step below a tankless. What this one does is it heats up and it forces the air out. It sucks it out and it shoots it through a PVC pipe, so which is a lot safer, a lot more efficient. You always want to make sure that these joints are glued in all the way through to the outside of the exterior home. You always want to make sure the vent has a screen on it as well to keep animals and critters out of there as well. A power vent heater is a lot safer just because you don't have that metal flue that will rust over time. PVC lasts forever as long as it's installed correct. Um, as long as everything's glued in, you don't have screws or venting or just little gaps and spaces compared to a metal flue. Um, so, and again, it's a forced air instead of an atmospheric. So you're depending on that flue, never having issues or bird's nest or anything of actually naturally sucking it out. This actually forces it out. And if this can't force it out, it'll lock itself out and shut off. We're here today looking at a gas line to a power vent water heater. Um, how this works is you got your gas line coming in from the meter outside, feeds the home, should always have a shut off within that water heater distance. Comes down, should always have a drip leg too to catch, uh, so it can catch contaminants, any of that stuff. That way it does not get into your gas valve when it's calling for hot water. So that is actually Indiana Plumbing Code. Should always hire a licensed professional when you're messing with gas. It's very unsafe to mess with gas. So if you ever get a gas leak, you're going to have to call your gas company and you're still going to have to have a professional come out. So save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money. Always just hire the professional from the beginning. Um, but with this, we'll call for gas and then it heats up. And then as it heats up, it shuts off. And this thing, same thing on thermostats, you have A, B, C. Uh, again, go to your manual in Bradford White. That'll tell you when uh, it needs to kick on and off by what temperature you have it set at. So on this unit, A is 120. B is 130, C is 140, and then very hot is 150 or above. Always keep it set at 120, that way you get your longevity out of it, and it doesn't work the water heater to extremes, um, and it'll definitely take that lifespan down as well, because it's working harder because that temperature set higher. So a drip leg is very important on a water heater, uh, just because, or a furnace, or anything that has gas running to it, it's always very important to put a drip leg on here because it will catch contaminants. That way it doesn't get to your gas valve on your water heater, your furnace, or any of that. Again, that is Indiana plumbing code that it has to have a drip leg on it at every fixture. With gas lines, again, Indiana plumbing code, every fixture should have a drip leg before it goes to the actual unit itself. It always should have a shut off on there as well to every fixture, gas stoves, gas dryers, furnaces, anything that's gas, fireplaces, always are supposed to have shutoffs, that's code. Um, and then your main that comes into the house, it may go to a manifold, which this house does not. It just black pipe, because it's built in 1978, but the newer homes, every one of them have a manifold with a main shutoff on them now. Top problems that happen with gas lines is, this is black pipe, they just get rusty and old over time, depending on, because most time they're in a basement or a crawl space, so there's a lot of moisture down there. Uh, the new gas line they come out with now is a flash shield. So it's always important to, again, be on our membership. We do a whole house plumbing inspection. We check your gas lines, make sure there's no uh, wear and tear that we're seeing. If we see something that we're gonna bring it to your attention, that way you can be preventative because you definitely don't want a gas leak in your home.